So good afternoon, good afternoon, eh, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hana Konegishi Polisno from GMI, which stands for the Japan Environmental Management Association for Industry. Um, I'm very glad to have this opportunity to talk about Japanese labeling programs. And previously in April, Ms. Miyake, my co-worker, introduced how the CFP programs will be changed after a three-year pilot project, which just finished in March. She also talked about the aims of the new CFP programs. This time, I'd like to explain our new, uh, new programs in further details. There might be a, always a little delay sometimes. Steve's jobs made in a bit of delay between the slides sometimes. Okay, but uh, try to use this computer. <laughs> uh, first, I'd like to start by telling you a little bit about our association and provide you with some background of our two labeling programs. Next, I'd like to share with you our current situation and then how the new CFP project is carried on after privatization. Finally, I'd like to share with you uh, consumer activities. GEMI is a public corporation organized, uh, organized by the membership of approximately 700 companies. It was established in 1962, when the industry pollution, this industrial pollution was becoming a serious concern in Japan. The EcoLeaf program I belong to is the only type 3 declaration in Japan. It began in 2002 and has been managed by us for approximately 10 years. The CFP three-year project was launched in 2009, which was based on experiences with EcoLeaf. In April of this year, we at GMI became the program holder, so we continued managing the program. To date, 1,096 EcoLeaf levels have already been released based on ATPCLs. And regarding to CFP, there are 556 levels and 75 PCLs. This shows the existing EcoLeaf declarations. Most of them are fabricated metal products, but also some more unique declarations, such as a mannequin rental service and a foodstuff delivery system. This shows the number of CFP products, including the ones which were released during the pilot project. These graphs show that the CFP program contains more domestic products than EcoLeaf. As I mentioned earlier, we managed two environmental declarations simultaneously. We are planning to fuse them together in future. We'd like to outline the process briefly. And this, slide, this slide shows how we tend to fuse them together and what the aims are. And we'd like to manage the fusion for the benefit of the organizations that have already joined and released eco-leaf declarations. 
This new program should be easily adaptable to global issues such as ISO standards, domestic mindset, and regulations for environmental consciousness. What I've mentioned today is still in the pr uh, planning phase, but I'm very glad to share our uh, direction with you. Now, let's go back to the current situation of CFP. As you may have noticed during the last presentation, we use two different methods of verification. Product by product verification, which is usually taken up other CFP programs, and system certification, which I'm talking about today. I'd like to emphasize the four main benefits of this system certification scheme. First, it's less time consuming. Secondly, um, it's on time re registration. Thirdly, cost reduction. And building frameworks for CFP and LCA within organizations. This indicates the workflow of the system certification scheme. You can follow it by looking at the numbers. Once an organization is approved, they need to be audited every three years. After that, internal auditors can do the CFP verifications and apply to GMI to register the labeling, uh, label release. They are names of companies relating to this uh, system certification system. You can see the names of the certification bodies on the left side, which we have contract with after the pilot project. And on the right side, they are certified organizations. Note that they are certified during pilot project. And now, I'd like to describe sector guidance, which can make it much easier to develop PCRs. Since the pilot project, 70 PCLs have been made available. It was not easy for organizations to understand and follow. It also caused time consuming to develop PCLs. After the pilot project, we noted that they, uh, they consisted of three parts, common, similar and specific requirements. Through, uh, through our analysis, we noticed that common parts are concluded in basic rules. Similar parts uh, could be collected into sector guidelines, guidance. Because of this, we could provide CFP PCL template to make the PCL reviews more efficient and less time consuming. Let me to explain it by this slide. All PCL have common parts and PCL A, B and C also have similar parts. On the new CFP program on the right side, the similar requirements could be corrected to make the sector guidance. And regarding PCLD, it didn't have similar parts like others, so that it couldn't help same PCL guidance. Now, it is, uh, it is getting easier for organizations to follow and develop PCLs. 
As we continue to ana analyze CFP PCLs, we can provide uh, uh, sector guidance. And we believe that organizations will join our program with less effort. They have been translated in, into English and made available on our website if you care to take a look. Um, this is our LCA software, Miruka, which is available to calculate the LCI date to apply for CFP verification. And now Miruka is available in English. You can also produce, uh, pro produce the LCA report with Miruka. And next to the report button, you, re you will find another one to apply for a CFP. Miruka can make uh, applications form outside of Japan easier and ensure the correct format is used. When you use our Miruka, you can have benefit not only applying for CFP, but also providing it as a multi criteria on the reports. Finally, I'd like to talk about an interesting trial project relating to consumer education in Japan. Recently, a new interactive project called CFP Man was completed. I'd like to explain the consortium behind this project and show you some activities they have participated in. Eco Visualizing School is a consortium which was launched after the CFP program's privatization. It is aimed at uh, environment education, particularly for students. In addition to hosting lectures and symposiums, they will get, to, um, sorry. They will get together for the first come forthcoming eco-products uh, eco exhibition in December, the largest of its kind in Japan. Currently, Professor Nishio from Tsukuba University, who specializes in marketing and consumer behavior, is the principal of uh, this consortium. Eleven companies and organizations, including our own, joined this consortium. In Japan, we have various year-round lectures aimed specific at school children, but it is hard to find something connected to LCA. The consortium meets on a monthly basis to discuss future, future events and share useful information with other members. We at GMI are also very glad that organizations come together voluntarily after the pilot project. Of course, not only one-way communication, but also two-way communication is essential. We hope people, young people in particular, will become increasing, increasingly interested in and concerned about the environment. This idea behind CFP Man was uh, groundbreaking. The main object was to see if someone could survive on CFP products alone for a week. I guess you could say it's kind of a reality show. To viewers, it may have seemed a bit strange, 
but it carried an important message for consumers about LCA activities. It was a plan to appeal CFP and life cycle thinking to consumers. During this week-long project, various guests came to talk to CFP men and give lectures about LCA. Viewers could learn what was CFP and LCA by enjoying watching those lectures and the way CFP man lived. Because the CFP man is living in isolation, it is, yes, in isolation, it is easier to clearly define his individual GHG impact on the environment, on, on the environment with CFP certified products which resulted in 12 kilogram per, uh, by a day. Uh, CFP uh, was globally broadcasted. I'd like to <laughs> take this opportunity to thank both the PCR World Forum and GetNet for announcing the CFP man project. If you haven't already done so, please take a look at CFP man website. From the beautiful Miss Earth to executives and staff from various CFP companies, professors, students, and so on. This show was broadcasted live online for 24 hours, and viewers talked about it on the internet in forums and on social media site. If anyone would like to be the next CFP man, please talk to me after the presentation. Well, that concludes my pr presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.